Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and in this video I'm gonna explain the equivalency when we compare cameras with different sensor sizes. And I also have an opinion on what it means in real life photography. I'm fully aware that there are already quite a few videos of this here on YouTube, but this uh, topic or this matter still confuses many people and um, it also causes some quite heated discussions every once in a while. So I figured why not make another video um, of this topic and uh, share my opinion on this one too. And in this video, I'm only gonna talk about full frame and micro four thirds because Lumix only makes these sensor sizes or system cameras with these sensors. So if you're looking for information on some other sensor sizes regarding the equivalency, you have to look elsewhere. Sorry about that. And please remember to sign up for my monthly newsletter. There's a link in the description, but you can also go to my website to do that. Thank you. So why do we even need something like equivalency? Well, the sensors on these cameras are different. For the full frame sensor area is almost four times as big as the micro four thirds sensor area. And on top of that, the aspect ratio is not the same on both sensors. Micro Four Thirds is, uh, aspect ratio is 4 to 3 and the full frame aspect ratio is 3 to 2. So the frames are not exactly the same shape. But let's forget about the aspect ratio because uh, it's not really a major like variable in this equation. But it means though that you will never get exactly the same picture on both cameras no matter what you do because the frame is not the same shape. Unless you crop of course. And because of what I just said, the numbers on the lenses on both systems, they don't mean the same thing. If I put a 25mm lens on both these cameras, I will get a very different looking photo. And if I put, for example, a 50mm lens on both of these cameras, I will also get a very different picture on both cameras. And even the f-stop numbers don't mean the same thing. In most cases, if I use the same f-stop f -stop number on both cameras, I will get very different looking results. And that's why we have something called a crop factor, which in this case is 2. But even so, it's not a very simple matter, this equivalency. There seems to be two popular ways to calculate or explain or whatever you want to call this science, the equivalency. The first one is uh, mostly, I think, used by the Micro Four Thirds shooters. And in this uh, equation, <laughs> the 25 millimeter Micro Four Thirds lens equals to about 50 millimeter f2 full frame lens. And the reasoning behind this is that if you shoot both lenses wide open, you get the similar or the same exposure on both cameras. And as you can see in these two example photos shot on a full frame camera and a micro four thirds camera, and this is shot at a four because I don't have any faster lens on for, for a full frame camera right now. But it doesn't matter, same aperture on both lenses and on both cameras. And indeed the exposure is the same on both pictures. But there's one problem, the pictures don't look similar. There's more depth of field in the, in the full frame, uh, in the micro four thirds uh, picture. And that leads me to another popular way to, to calculate the equivalency. And that, to my understanding, is mostly used by the full frame shooters. 
And by the way, I don't like the term full frame because it just is kind of stupid because every camera is kind of full frame, right? But I'm using full frame only because pretty much everyone understands what I mean. I'd rather talk maybe about 35 millimeter camera or something, but then many people wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So I just settle for the term full frame just because it's most commonly used. Anyway, in this calculation, a 25 mm f2 micro four thirds lens equals to about 50 mm f4 full frame lens. Because those two lenses used wide open would give similar results. The picture would look similar on both uh, cameras or, or on both lenses. As we can see uh, in th these two samples, micro four thirds, 25 millimeter micro four thirds lens shot at f2 and a 50 millimeter full frame lens shot at f4. The pictures indeed look very similar. However, the exposure is not the same. On a full frame camera, I had to crank up the ISO to compensate for the smaller aperture. However, the big sensor performs better at high ISO and therefore the pictures still look similar. And to me, to be honest, this uh, latter way to explain the equivalency is uh, more like a real or, or better way to explain it because I think the end result um, counts. We are making photographs after all. And I don't think the exposure values means anything if I don't get the results that I expect. However, feel free to use any system uh, for yourself to explain the equivalency. I don't really care. Whatever makes you happy and whatever makes you understand uh, the differences between different cameras and different sensor sizes. And is this all even important in real life photography? That's a very good question. I think the only time when it really means something is when you are changing systems from a sensor size to another. Then it helps you to understand what to expect from the new system. But if you're happy with your system and you get the results you want, who cares about the equivalency? The main thing is that you're happy and you get the results you want. Back in the film days, we had different uh, negative sizes and we had different camera systems, but I don't remember that anyone was um, going on and on about the something equivalencies or something like that ever. We had our wide angles and telephotos and standard lenses for each system, but I don't think it was never uh, really a big deal which would equal to which in which system. We would just take our medium format system and the wide angle or standard lens for that camera and take the pictures and be happy. And we would do the same thing with uh, our 35 millimeter or large format system or whatever system, but we wouldn't talk about equivalency. And yes, I agree, the equivalency can be a little bit confusing, especially for beginners. But I wouldn't worry too much about it until you are changing systems. And when that time comes, find out what the new system means. But uh, before that, there's no need to worry about it or think about it too much. My advice is to have fun with your camera, have fun with your photography, try to be a better photographer and not uh, to worry so much about some technical trivia that can potentially make you unhappy. And I'd also be interested to know if the equivalency means anything to you in your photography. Anyway, I hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you so much and uh, I'll definitely see you in the next one.